<laughs> I love how my mom used this for fresh fruit. <laughs> You guys will not believe the price that I got for all of this. <laughs> I love it! It's exactly what I wanted for the bathroom! I know! Yeah! <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are going thrifting today, and you might notice that my background is a little bit different. That is because we are at my parents' house up in Minnesota, and it was like the one quiet moment that I'll have while I'm up here to do a little bit of a house tour. I haven't told them that I'm doing this, but I thought that you guys just need to see their house. It is absolutely beautiful. You can probably tell from the bathroom behind me right now. They actually just finished remodeling this bathroom. This is a 1907 Victorian home. So we are going to go thrifting today. My sister is actually with her fiance right now getting their marriage license at the courthouse and then they're getting married next weekend and that's why we're up here so we're gonna go thrifting she's my favorite person ever to thrift with and i can't wait for you guys to meet her but while they're out i thought i would take you around at least downstairs a little bit to show you my parents home because you guys have met my parents a lot on this channel because they're helping us renovate our home down in florida so if you love thrifting and antiques you're gonna absolutely love their home because they have made it just absolutely beautiful with those two things so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera i'm gonna take you downstairs and then we're gonna go thrifting at the goodwill bins some home decor clothing whatever you find who knows whatever can fit in my suitcase all right we're starting outside but it's kind of a cold day so we won't stay out here long but i wanted you guys to see the porch so like I said, my parents' home is in 1907. I think it's called Late Victorian Home and they've really done a beautiful job keeping things um, consistent with the time period, with the colors and the furniture that they've brought in, all of the antiques that they've collected over the years. So this is their porch. Look at that amazing family thing over there. It's massive. And during the summer, we enjoy some meals out here. They're absolutely beautiful. And then during the winter, this is like, bear because minnesota has crazy winters i have never lived up here they moved up here after i went to college so but people might be confused about that but let's go ahead and go inside my sister actually found this at the goodwill bins i believe <laughs> but coming inside there's this kind of like little entryway in here and then once you come into the house there is the the living room in here some things that they've done that are interesting um that i wouldn't think of is they actually use a bench instead of a couch here because they host a lot of church groups and book clubs my mom hosts and so this they're able to like move this around and then create like a bigger circle here and i thought that was a really interesting practical idea so they have beautiful stained glass up here and then lots of original art that i'll try to point out from my grandmother um, my mom is also an artist but i believe one of these no i don't think either of those are those are original but i don't know who did those um and then we actually hosted my sister's bridal shower here yesterday we had a tea party for her and so that's what things are still kind of set up and like we have things for the wedding next weekend like these pillows are going to be um at the reception like under some teepees and stuff but these are this was all set up beautifully yesterday i'll like put a clip of all the food that we had put out it was just absolutely beautiful my sister and my mom did most of it and then i came up and just like, <laughs> helped host it um and then she's uh, thrifted all of these flowers pretty much um from the goodwill bins i think she had to buy some to fill in and then all of the baskets she got from the goodwill bins as well and spray painted them and those are going to be for the sweet little uh, flower girls. There's like eight flower girls. I think it's a pretty big wedding. And then those are all the bridesmaids ones as well. Um, but I absolutely love our dining room in here because of all of these, this bay window. I think it's called a bay window when it like opens up like that. Maybe not. Um, and then the color that they chose up top is like this salmon-y color that is one of the historic colors and then this is kind of a lime wash technique on the bottom i don't know if it's technically a lime wash but it has some color variation in it to make it look like leather um it's not really appearing so well on camera because it's such a dark dreary day today but it looks really beautiful and historical um I, I love that detail that they added so this tablecloth i actually got from my mom for mother's day and she bought another one because she liked it so much but i'll post a picture of the inspiration picture for it that i found from studio mcgee or mcgee and co actually um because my parents have a lot of like dark woods in their home and so i think that mixing in um those bright touches during the summer 
is really beautiful and she used this tablecloth a very similar one to this so i found a dupe that was a lot cheaper on amazon and I'll, i can link it down below if you guys are interested so this is kind of like a flex room for them they use this during parties as an additional seating area but it's also like their library um it used to be where my sister would do violin when she lived here and then also it's been like a, a library prayer room like all, all the things this room has been but i guess traditionally this would have been like the sitting room um this home did have like a st an additional stairwell you'll see that went up all the way to the attic and that's where the like maids would live but now it only goes up to the second floor they've kind of um retrofitted it and stuff so there's some more beautiful details up there um but let me take you to the kitchen my parents are actually in the process of getting a new home um somewhere i won't share too many details of it but um i'm so excited for them so i kid you not there has been an entire lamb here that my dad has butchered like they put this house to work like they're constantly hosting people for small groups and big parties as well and then making amazing food in this kitchen <laughs> let me point out some of the details that i really love that they've added into this home this kitchen to make it really practical for them so they do have chickens um so this basket gets filled up with eggs uh, and then also i love how my mom used this for fresh fruit i would never think to use like a scale as a fruit basket and i absolutely love that my mom collects port Marion, so that's what all of her dishes are and everything. And then I think that this pot rack is just really, really cool because they have the giant ceilings. They are able to do this. We would never be able to do this in our eight foot ceiling home, but it makes it really nice. And then they also have kind of like a butler's pantry sort of, eh, I would call that more like more cupboards, but they also have a pantry in there. So it's not really a butler's pantry. And then their backyard is absolutely beautiful too. I won't take you out there though. It's little cast. We get a little bit cold, but they have completely transformed this backyard. That's their chicken coop back there and then they have like a really really productive garden out there too all right so let me take you upstairs but i'm really only going to show you the bathrooms um that they just had remodeled as well as i'll show you like my room as well but <laughs> there's like a lot of wedding stuff out on like all the other beds because it's next weekend so exciting <laughs> All of these sweet little details around this house that are like like that's the light switch i just think that's so cool i mean most people probably don't appreciate that but i think it's really sweet so <laughs> i'll show you my room first so i've never really lived here really but this is my the room that i stay in and this was my great grandmother's four poster bed um it's so <laughs> so tall <laughs> but i love it and then um she thrifted that crib for a cassian um all of the boys have actually slept in it now i think and i think this room is just really really sweet just the moldings and the things that you have in an older home all of the details um she has this sewing table that I actually used to use um, to like when I learned how to sew, uh, but now we're using it as a changing table. So there's how you can kind of multi-purpose and use old furniture for different things. Um, a pack of wipes fits perfectly in one of those drawers, by the way. All right, so I'm gonna take you into the bathroom on this floor. Um, they just redid this one. I had a little bit of a say in it. Um, I help, got to help like design it by helping with choosing some colors as well as finding things on Facebook Marketplace, like up here. And then my mom went and picked them up. Um, and so I'll point those things out because they added so much vintage charm to match this house, which is really special, I think. So I was doing voiceovers for this video and actually found a clip that my mom sent me of the before of this bathroom. So I want to show you this so you can appreciate the after. So my mom did a really sweet job decorating it. She kind of gave it this like girly, I don't know, kind of coastal feel in here. But the look of it was just really outdated and not their style. So this is what they transformed it into. Okay, so this is the bathroom now. This was completely taken down to like studs like all the drywall is new everything is new all the tile all the everything uh they even painted the radiator they went with this beautiful green color i forgot what color we decided on with that but i i'll, I'll find it and um if you're interested in it you can ask me and i'll give you a link for that but um they also got a new vanity in here this is a beautiful solid wood one um there's definitely qualities of <laughs> vanities we learned um so this is not just like a, an over-the-counter version 
<laughs> of a vanity and then also these are the pieces that I helped my mom find so these were, were like taken out of a old home around here I think they're um like 150 years old possibly um and they are heavy they're cast iron um just really special and then this mirror also was something that I found and my mom went and picked up we were gonna add a little bit of rub and buff down in there but it's almost like unnoticeable like it, it's it's perfect honestly so they went with kind of a mixed metals but everything all of the new faucets and stuff they match so it's the delta one of the collections from delta and they are really really beautiful i love how simple they are um and sleek but they still have like an old vintage look to them and everything matches so all of these are the same um line as well as well as the grab bars in there so they put grab bars to um just like help increase the value of the home if you have grab bars it's more um you know marketable i guess as well um but then it also is perfect for hanging up like the shower mat or like washcloths and like kind of stuff so it kind of functions in two ways i was not sure about this shower curtain that they chose but i actually i love it um there's like a little bit of navy blue in it which helps just kind of add a new tone to it and then it brings in a little bit of pink and some red so that there's some brown as well um mixed in with the gold tones and it just looks perfect and then this was actually um my sister's bouquet from my wedding six six and a half years ago and it's still doing great um it did have some dried flowers in it and those have those have perished my dad did all of this wainscoting in here. He did such a beautiful job creating. He created this custom to match places, the rest of our home that has that in it. And then also this, it perfectly matches the bevel or whatever you call this, the mitered edge of the all of the original doors as well. my mom to be mad at me because I actually remember that she wanted me to hang some art for her with her before I like showed you guys these but I'm gonna show you anyway this is where my parents live up in like the attic it's all finished and it's really beautiful up here they have like a whole they have like a sitting area too but there's like wedding stuff all over there so I won't show too much but the bathroom let me show you that okay again I can't resist showing you the before so this was what it looked like before and this wall was actually expanded out because there's a linen closet here on the right and then behind this this was a chimney there that they took out and so it made the footprint of this room a lot bigger but it's still an awkward shape so I'll show you what they did to maximize the space move the toilet lots of big things and and it really felt just fine when we were getting ready for the wedding actually in here. So this is the upstairs bathroom and they completely changed where the toilet was, like everything. So actually the toilet used to be over here and the shower was even smaller. I think it was a bathtub actually, I want to say. Um, so they created a just a stall here and then they salvaged these. They got these at a local vintage place. That one is like a little bit wonky and they're going to find... Um, some i forget what it's called like a, a shade thing so you go on top of there as well this is not vintage but it's made to look vintage and it has electrical in it as well so they can like keep their toothbrushes in there and then also this sink is really really cool this is a actual vintage sink that was like refurbished and then they got some modern hardware that looks really old um i love how they brought the marble over here like it comes all the way out like a backsplash and then it has this nice like beveled edge um i think the pencil that's what it's called so this is all marble um in here as well as marble hex on the floor um that looks just perfect it's so beautiful and then this is where my mom wanted me to help her like hang some art and stuff but she has a little like dressing area um like a makeup area here i was thinking she should get a stool she was like i always just stand doing it so she can stand and then put a mirror here we can figure that out. The toilet is now over here, so there's much more space. And then they put this beautiful medicine cabinet that they found at a local antique um, store up here, and it matches all of the wood doors that are in the home. That's the color of oak that they have everywhere. I think this bathroom is just such a great example of having to work with what you have because it has a sloped ceiling, the whole thing. So like, how do you work with that? They had to do a curved piece of glass here to think about that and then also 
like down here, these towel bars had to be hung actually on the ceiling instead of the wall, um, just because of the the way that this is set up. I should have even mentioned, my dad did all of the wainscoting in here and down below. Um, I'll do some close-ups, I'll add some close-ups into there because he did such a beautiful job like matching the uh, the bevel on it to what is around the rest of the house, like on the doors and everything. So that's like overly, they're very detail oriented if you've noticed <laughs> in my home. And so they're even more in this home as well. My dad built this like storage thing in here so that you can like pull these drawers out and they can have lots and lots of stuff in there. I think that's so important. If you wanna have a well put together home, you have to have like hidden storage. So you have to be really thoughtful and intentional with that when designing and decorating and everything. All right, it is time to head to the bins. Now this is not just any Goodwill bins. This happens to be my absolute favorite Goodwill bins. I mean, I've only ever been to three of them, but this one is so good. I always find awesome home decor and clothing and it is huge. They're constantly bringing out new bins. So at the other bins that I've been to and all of these, you just like are digging through bins if you haven't been to a Goodwill bins, but they bring out new ones with fresh things to dig through about every 15 minutes, which is a lot faster than the ones that I am used to. I found this brand new record pro here and I actually meant to show Anna, my sister, it um, because I think she would have actually gotten it, um, but I forgot to tell her and someone grabbed it. And so everything here, you are paying it by the weight and then the bigger items like that record player will be paid like you can just ask them how much it'll be and it'll probably be like three dollars for that so everything comes out ridiculously cheap it's not every day that i find the most perfect thing ever with the goodwill bins but this this day was one of those days so um stay tuned to see my mom's reaction to these and exactly why she was so excited for them because you, you've already seen why, there's <laughs> a little hint, but I, I was just so excited to see these and shocked that I found them. They had an entire bin full of home decor and baskets. A lot of them were broken, but it would still make a really good storage. Like this could be really helpful for any sort of toy storage. Just make it look more pretty than any like plastic bins. I always am on the hunt for good baskets, but I wouldn't be able to bring these home obviously in my suitcase. So I was trying to look for some smaller items, but I will admit that I stuffed my suitcase so full with the items that I got. And some of them my mom will also have to bring home when she, when she can come down next. Here's a look at how crazy it is when they bring out new bins. I usually stay away from that madness, especially with Cass in the stroller, but just wanted to share that if you are new to the Goodwill bins, expect that it is a little bit of chaos, but the reward is so good. thought that this black and white print was so so beautiful and would be really sweet framed in a different not broken frame I also love these texture on this I think it's a bedspread or a bed cover I think that's what it's called if someone knows let me know I think I actually had one similar to this um, at my grandmother's house maybe I was also very tempted to get this little apron just for it's like retro charm but it was actually like tearing a little bit on one of those sides so we ended up leaving it behind I love when I can find multiples of storage things that I have like baskets and buckets. So I have this bucket that I use actually for cleaning 
and it is very helpful. If I was in Florida, I would have gotten that one because it would just be handy to have another one for our other bathroom. I have found that the Google Bins is probably the cheapest place to find books, especially if you want to use them for decor and don't really care about what is inside. I always try to find ones that I at least would be interested in opening up to. Um, this one would have been awesome, especially for my kids to look through or to even use as like almost wrapping paper because there were so many maps in here, but it was too big to bring home. Stuff. <laughs> Just a bit. We've got a haul and a baby who needs to be helped. I'm gonna fly through these because my dad is currently getting dinner ready. You could probably hear it. And this one is all a little cranky too. But you guys will not believe the price that I got all of this for. So I will save the total for last. Let's dive into this haul with some home decor and I'll do a little bit of clothing and then the grand finale item, which I'm so excited for my mom to see. So I got this wood bowl i'm pretty sure i've seen this at home guys it's nothing like old or anything but i thought it'd be fun to decorate on with our table either inside or maybe even outside and then i got also for kitchen items um this cookbook it had a cover on it but i took the cover off and it's just like a, a chinese cookbook i believe and so i love making stir fries so i thought this would be interesting um, to read through and I love the cover of it and I also only have one cookbook to my name <laughs> and I wanted to create like a little cookbook corner in my kitchen because we have like a little space for it and then I realized I don't have any cookbooks <laughs> so I thought I should probably thrift some as well <laughs> all right so you guys know I love linen I just shared a thrifting video where I got a bunch of linen items and showed you guys some Pinterest outfits with them we'll do that with some of these um these new items as well did you need to say hello? Mm -hmm. But I found a linen shirt from Zara. Um, it's really big, it's actually a large, but the sleeves are perfect. The fit is like perfect, because I want it oversized anyway. So really happy about this one. Lay right here, so cozy. Then I got this white t-shirt, just Target, but like you can never have enough white t-shirts if you like white t-shirts, because if you're like me, you stain them quite often, and <laughs> so you just go to have some backups. I also found this, um, I think it's called a shift dress, um, I am loving these that button down for nursing right now and I love how like wide and roomy this one is so I haven't tried it on yet I was washed up from the bins before I tried on I did try on that white linen shirt but I um I got this um, beach towel for my kids because it's dinosaurs I thought they would appreciate that can't beat the price of the bins and then I got this uh, blue turtleneck for my mom actually so I'll give that to her I just noticed there might be a hole nope that's a fuzzy good okay Super excited about this one. So back to our home decor. Everything else is home decor. So I also got this, this sheet. I normally don't like like vintage sheets. People are always picking them up for stuff, but I just like have never been drawn to them. But this one is beautiful. It is kind of a creamy off-white and then it has green flowers on it. Just super simple, kind of, yeah, just classic. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited about this. I might turn this into curtains in our bathroom. Stay tuned. Um, that might not be for a little while, <laughs> but I thought it would be really beautiful. Um, I love the color green. And then I got these um, florals. Oh my goodness, it's a mess. <laughs> but um, I mean, all of these, you know, at, like new at Hobby Lobby or wherever you pick up silk flowers, this would be like $50. Like these are, like silk flowers are not cheap. I especially like this one right here because it has a lot of different color variation. It has like a little, um, little berries in it as well. So I'm not gonna bring these back to Florida. I think my mom is going to use these in the bathrooms that I showed you, probably in the middle floor bathroom. But she has a lot of spots that these could go. So I'm excited to give her these tonight when she gets home. Um, I might also give her these because she uses wooden hangers, but I want to start collecting wooden hangers just for my front entryway closet so that it can look classier and everything. Also, we hang things that are pretty heavy on those, like some grocery bags sometimes, and so thought these would be helpful. Mm. Whatever he is cooking smells real good, but it's also real loud. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so I found not one, not two, but four pillows, down pillows. These are the ones from Ikea that I always buy, and they're like, they're not super expensive at Ikea. I wanna say they're like $6 for an insert. Um, but I love the way down feels. So if you just, any sort of pillow, if you just feel it and it kind of 
sounds, like it has some sort of sound to it and a little bit crunchy, then you know it's down. And so I love these. I throw them in the wash and they do fine. That's what I've always done. Uh, and then this one had a pillowcase on it, so I'm not sure if we'll keep the pillowcase. It's also an Ikea pillowcase, but um, my mom, I texted her, I was like, do you need pillows? <laughs> I found a bunch of them. And she's like, yes. <laughs> so I won't, I won't probably take those back to Florida. That would be a little, a little ridiculous. Okay. I guess this is kind of clothing, but look at this. Hello, best friends. <laughs> look at this purse. Um, so this is vintage, I believe. It definitely has some, some patina to it. Look at the inside of it. I think it's so pretty. Oh, stay away from the baby. Thank you. It's like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, I had to pick this up. I thought it would be perfect for summer. I mean, could be used all around, but all year round, but especially for summer with some cute outfits and everything. I'm really not like a purse girl because I just have a diaper bag all the time, but I think that purses like this can be used as decor as well. Like I have a peg rail that I like putting like hanging baskets on as well. And so I was gonna think if maybe this would look good there, but it's really classy and you can't, cannot break, beat the price of the bins. Okay, Cass is mid falling asleep <laughs> next to me. So I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. Um, and I'm gonna save the very last piece to actually show you with my mom when she gets home in like, she should be home in like an hour or so. But I wanted to show you guys this one. Um, this one I'm gonna take for myself. I might not be able to bring it down this trip, but loved, loved, loved this bowl. I love like chunky crystal like this. And I love the scallop on the edge. Like, how pretty is that? So you could serve some chips in this. Um, that's all I'm thinking, chips right now. <laughs> a little hungry. Um, but I thought that it would just be really beautiful for entertaining. I have something for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> There's three of them. So here's the first oh, one. Oh, my. You got that at the... <laughs> I did. <laughs> I know. It's it's literally it's that color. It's everything. This is what I based my bathroom on. Oh, oh, oh my for jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like so cheap. No, they never tell me. It is so gorgeous. He has no clue what that is. <laughs> That is so. <laughs> there's not like any it's Wedgwood. Here. It's real Wedgwood. I can't. It's real. It. It's real from England. Oh my gosh, that is. I can't believe it wasn't broken. I know. Me too. And that in nobody England, had taken it. Wedgwood. Oh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> you guys ready to hear the total for all of these things? So my largest category was clothing. That stuff was fourteen dollars for all of the clothing. That's worse. But then everything, all of it included was $22.93. Pretty darn good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with the bins today and seeing my parents home. If you enjoyed this video, I would so appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed coming along to the bins with me. I really haven't done one of these videos in a while, so I miss doing it. You can follow me over on Instagram at EE Garby if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life. But I think I'm gonna get this guy upstairs for a good nap and then have some dinner with my family. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I'll show you some something embarrassing today. My closets. Oh man. So I'm gonna set a little timer.